Shout out Nuno Betancourt and Extreme. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to Anderton's TV. It must be uh, we've entered the Matrix because uh, Digital John is with us today. <laughs> Digital John. How have you been, Mr. John? Good, good. Busy as ever. But yes, digital. teaching like crazy. Yeah, and being digital, as always. And so. being digital. <laughs> digital. Yeah. Um, now, what, uh, what toys have you brought with you today? Uh, today, this is, this may be new to quite a lot of people, um, although the company's been around for a few years, this unit, the Veilton GP200, has been around since the start of 2022, uh, January, I think. And essentially, this comes in at your uh, relatively cheap uh, multi flex unit, so it's not in camper territory or in your entry territory, it's around the 250 mark, um, and it's in the realm of like Podgo and stuff like that. And for that money, it's got tons of stuff in it, it's built really well, it's pretty sturdy. Um, got tons of routing options at the back. You can do stuff like effects loop, so you can use it with a bigger rig if you want, or you can use it as a standalone multi effects unit. It's obviously got an expression, tons of foot switch capability, a nice amount of tactile hand, hands-on amp controls, and it's a good mix. Um, Two, yeah. 250? Around that. 250, you say? Wow, yeah. I mean, it's very uh, pod go inspired, isn't it? Although yeah. I am liking some of these sort of super fast access things. Let's first and foremost give the beautiful people of YouTube land um, a flavor of maybe three or four, you know, tones like clean tones, crunchy, overdriven yeah. tones, stuff like that. So let's just go back to the main menu. Cool. Whilst you're doing that, I shall just explain that what you are hearing today, ladies and gentlemen, are the uh, XLR outputs direct into our desk. We're hearing it through some studio monitors. And if you want to hear how this really sounds, I would suggest that you either listen through some nice speakers or put your headphones in. Um, and as always, if you get bored and you're thinking, I wonder what else is in this video, check the timestamps below and maybe you'll find something that you want to know a bit more quickly. What is this patch supposed to be? Um, so as the name may suggest, it's a clean style amp starting with F. Um, <laughs> small niche brand. And basically, this is your like gig view at the minute, what you're seeing. We'll go into it in a sec, but this is what your foot switches are doing and control one to four are like um, toggling in effects and stuff like that. And I'll go through how you set that up in a minute, but you click this main parameter dial and that's how you see your signal flow. So using this, um, you can turn it. It's not a touch screen. So you use this to turn and this is like your joystick essentially. Um, and then once you're on your amp, you would click it and you've got all your different types okay. of amps. Here, I've got the dark DLX. You can guess what that's based on. Yeah, like a black um, place um, deluxe, I guess. With a brand starting with F. Yeah. Uh, and you've got tons. You've got absolutely tons from like super clean vintage all the way to your to your dizzies and your mini bases. I did have some very headline specificationes. Yeah, um, it's 240 different effects and 140 different amp models. Really? Yeah. Are there 140 amp models uh, in the world? I think according to this, according to I read, them, there is. from what I thought I read anyway. Um, um, <clears throat> and right goodness knows. Yeah, yeah 240 types of effects, seven, oh, 70 amps and 70 caps. Oh, okay, there we so go. So there's your 140. No, it's not your bad at all. And 20 um, custom user IR slots as well. So for the money, you've got, it's you know, 50. that's... Come on, yeah. let, let me hear this Fender thing. Cool, Have so. you got excessive reverb? Not yet. Oh, or volume. I won't, I won't like it. It's nice. Sounds fine to me. Not too much. Um, do you want to bring in reverb? Yeah, I, I mean, like you were saying, they, what we did with this was we sent John the GP200, gave him a day or two to just get his head around it. I've never seen one of these in the flesh before. Um, so, uh, as I kind of quickly sort of start pressing buttons and going, oh, that's fairly obvious. You'll get an idea of how intuitive this is. So as you rightly said, you, I like these pedal views. They're always um, nice and intuitive as to where things are. But what I like even more is the fact I can actually mm. just press a button here that says reverb. It takes me straight to my reverb um, bank, press it again to turn it on, Again, turn it yep. off and I can choose one. So I, I, let's try a, a spring reverb, as that is obviously yep. what would be an offender. Mm. 
Now, I don't think that's a terribly sort of fendery kind of reverb. So if I adjust the decay, and again, I, I'm liking the fact that as soon as I switch an effect on, these three knobs here instantly become an ob you know, obvious controls mm. to use. So what, what if I put a bit more on, where do we go there? Try something different. Let's just try um, a whole reverb oh. or something. I went plate in the end. That's all right, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? I mean, it's, I, I, it always slightly blows my mind here in that I can go from one day doing videos with Pete where we're comparing just reverb pedals that mm. are 400 quid each and going, oh yeah, that's really nice. And then to like the next day, doing a multi-effects pedal that's 250 quid, that's got, what did we say, 140 yeah, effects yeah. in it. So I've got Two to four, sort of- I think. Two, four. Yeah, yeah, I've got to temper my kind of expectations around right, how good yeah. things could be. But you but know, they, that they sounds they all right, all do the it? job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, okay, so- And another thing there, whilst we're scrolling, so this menu that Lee was on about, if you click in that parameter, some of them have further pages and then you can alter trails because that's what people ask quite a lot yeah. of the time. So you can do trails on this, you know, it's, it's high end features for it is. not much, not much money. Okay. Um, let's maybe just come back out into our overall, um, again, we didn't really, um, stay on this, but you can, perhaps you've worked out here. You can see the, the two red, uh, outlined buttons that say bank. They're these mm -hmm. two here, looper tap, and then the controls are all assigned to turn on and off different pedals, and that's user definable for you. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's pretty simple, right? Yeah. So what was our what was the next one? Did you have a, a Marsh one? I thought a Marsh. Or somewhere, didn't you? So brand beginning with M this time. Who? Rodney. <laughs> Here we go. So this is Marsh. <laughs> Sounds about right to me. Yeah. Um, it's a sort of more modern, gainy Marshall, isn't it? So how do I get to that page with you all the pedals in. on it? That's oh, okay, that's easy enough. So you've done all of these presets here without any real effects on them, haven't you? So I've set this up, so A's chorus. Okay. And this was the same on the Fender, so we can A, B that for one, but. So that's coming after the amp. Yeah. For the sake of putting it before the amp. So you'd scroll over to the chorus. Um, hold the button in, and then you've got this option to move it. So you use oh. this one and then you can drag it before. So let's just place it there. And then back up. Slightly different character. Um, and cool. then you had, so this is what, so that's distortion. Yeah. So like another distortion pedal in front of an already sort of delay. Reverb, right. Mm -hmm. and I guess that's probably my only, um, observation so far is is that the, you 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 can presumably your your control pedals are they are they a global thing so like a is always your chorus or is it per patch no per preset yeah per preset so you to a certain degree i suppose you it's not the most intuitive like what are they each going to do on each patch is it if they're going to yeah. change so you probably i think my feeling would be if you were going to use a lot of patches and you were going to use the control pedals all the time, I think I'd just get into the routine of going, right, A is always going to be a drive pedal, B yeah. is always going to be a reverb or something. Otherwise, I think you'd just get yourself into a bit of a tiz. Mm -hmm. um, but let's just add some reverb. Cool. Volume again. <laughs> As you probably saw there, I just added reverb and delay very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Again, there's a you've got lots of visual sort of indication as to what effects are on or not. So you can either little see these little um, buttons here lit up, or of course you can go back to the um, effects chain there, and, and if the if the pedal is highlighted, it's on. If it's sort of dark, it's off. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do another one. What else? What else cool. have we got in here? So the third 
EVH. Oof, oof, Let's, oof. This is a good opportunity oof. to bring in a noise gate, I yes. think. So, click in parameters. You'd find, where is it? Uh, there it is. Move it just for the amp, for the sake of this. And then we'll put it on. What a great demo of what a noise uh, reduction pedal does. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, okay. So, EVH. Getting used to two volume knobs now. Like for 250 quid, ah, two volume knobs. For, for 250 quid, it has that like sizzle of an yeah. EVH. Yeah. Like you don't always get that in the sort of cheaper end, so. It's really hard to be sort of too negatively sort of judgmental about something that is so affordable, you know? I mean, it's like, it's the sort of same price as like a My First Guitar and Amp pack yeah. type thing, isn't it? But it seems quite pro for that. Um, can we just do uh, two or three more kind of presets or whatever, and then maybe yeah. we'll talk about the looper and the drums inside and all that cool. kind of good stuff. So uh, let's go, let's just go through them. So it opens, on 1A, it's GP200. Here's what they, you know, want to flex. So we're into I guess. their presets. Yeah, this now, is like right? open yeah. okay. up for the first time. Whoa! And turn it down. Try it. It's a typical multi-effects processor first preset. Yeah. Like epic and amazing and wow and completely unusable in mm -hmm. any scenario. Um, 50s Plexi. That's not bad, except of yeah. course there's no such thing as a 50s Plexi. What does that even mean? Uh. Uh, maybe they mean 50 watt Plexi. But I, yeah, who, knows? That. who knows? Maybe, 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 I don't know, clean fuzz? That's an oxymoron. <laughs> Hi, sweaty, Hi. sweetie. <laughs> sweaty. <laughs> Just, again, I'm just, as I'm mm. sort of paying more attention here, I'm loving the fact that you've got these six controls always accessible. So volume gain, presence, bass, middle, treble. So without having to go into any menus or whatever, you can literally just bend down mm. and, and tweak to taste. And um, it's amp specific as well. So some of the amps that don't have a mid control in real life, if you toggle the mid, it won't do anything. Okay. So it's um, really accurate. Really? Like yeah. Cool. Rock soul. <laughs> Wild fruit. Wow, okay. Seventies blues. Was that a good era for blues? Pure clean. I mean, you know what? Yeah. You, we could go on for days here. Uh, I think you get the general consensus that this is does lots. But let's go into some of the other groovy stuff. So tell me about the little drum machine that's built in. Yeah. So uh, if you want to jam. what you heard right at the beginning. Right? Yeah. Uh, it's got tons. So essentially, if you press drum, it's it goes. And it starts off with this really rock patch. We try to find like a Nuno Extreme esque one. It's um, definitely a drum machine from like 15 years ago. Drum oh, sounds, yeah. isn't right. it? Everything it's, it's, full velocity. It's, it's not like as bad as Bon Tempe, but it's like <laughs> it's it's you know it's a it's a bonus add-on free feature, I think, rather than like the reason you'd buy this. Yeah, it's like I want to jam and try this riff yeah. in context type yeah. thing. Um, so if you hold it down, sorry, I'll go back. So if you're on your on your main page. 
hold down drum instead of just press it, and then that'll go to the drum menu. And you can see here, you've got different styles, so rock, funk, There's blues, millions. pop, world. Wow. Hundreds. Metro. So, Metro. So those will be with different time signatures, I guess. So let's do. Yes. Let's do a. 7-4. Seven, 7-4. Four. Seven, four. Here we go. Oh, that metronome. Oh, it's a me <laughs> oh, metro, as in metronome. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Right, metro modulation. Um, so you've got all your different styles here as well, uh, from Come rock. On. I want to hear you play hard rock. Let's do hard. Is there hard notes? Yeah, there rock. was. Oh, hard yeah, rock. hard rock two. The sequel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's full, uh, Lars Ulrich. You know, it's like <laughs> not on that back. Oh, yeah, not on that back. Let's go back. Let's find the old EVH. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. ah, that's, so, <laughs> that's so cool. Um, you might have seen as well in the drum uh, section here, you can <clears throat> adjust the tempo, the volume, uh, and even assign the tap tempo control to uh, yes. adjust the, the tempo of the drum beats. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's look at the loop de looper. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, so much stuff, so much stuff. Hold for looper. Hold for looper is my uh, favorite guitarist, Steve Looper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're on the Marshall setting. I mean, this is this is bonkers. You can see here, obviously, we've got the, the display tells you what all the buttons do. So mm -hmm. the important one, I guess, is this one here is our record and play. Uh, and this one is the stop mm -hmm. and delete button. I'm going to try and put a loop down with drums as well. This is optional. Uh, so hopefully it's still remembered our last drum patch. Mind blown. Easy. It's easy Literally isn't it? mind blown for 250 quid. That's insane. Yeah. Wow. That's not even all, is it? I mean, let's just uh, let's come back out of our noisy EVH patch here. So, Mr. Pete, who's on camera today, spotted oh. the, and I've never seen this before, mm. that the back switches are taller than the front switches. So that kind of old floorboard problem of trying to hit the switch on the, the top row and hitting the switch on the bottom row by mistake yeah. is completely mitigated by the fact that that's such a clever yeah. thought. Yeah, smart, isn't it? I've never seen that, even on a, even on a, a neural or a Kemper yeah. or anything. You're it's, probably all going to tell me that it is off a neural or a Kemper now, but I'm sure I've never seen that. And it kind of acts as a guard for all these buttons here as well, I guess. Very but, cool. Yeah. Um, ins and outs. So it's got so much spec. So, I d again, sorry for leaning over like this. So input is where we've got our guitar. This um, control on the far right is for adding an additional expression pedal or foot switch in if you want. Auxiliary in. So if you want to just, you know, play some backing music through this or something. Yeah. Effects return, which did you say was assignable to somewhere like one of the blocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, left and right output on jack plugs left and right output on XLRs, ground lift, headphone socket, full MIDI, modern USB. Yeah. I mean, USB-C, yeah. right? I mean, Blackstar, yeah. take note, right? We don't need to use the gigantic printer USB sockets anymore. Um, it's nifty, metal it? it's really good. expression that does wah. Epic. Yeah, it's not too heavy, you can fit it in a case, yeah. I, I really liked it, I mean, I don't think there's much else to say here other than, I mean, what was, you know, what people love all the sort of global. Oh, it's a USB audio interface as well. Yes. And you've got computer software so you can see it on a full screen dragging, you That's know, right, your yeah, yeah. chain around all that firmware updates. Um, yeah, really nifty. I don't understand, man. How does this work? How, is, how does life do this sometimes? Um, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you one of the things that we even found, this was actually uh, one of the 
we found it by mistake basically just before we started um, on one of the patches John had created himself the left hand output had the cab sim on it yes. and the right hand didn't and you just inadvertently set it up like that yeah. but the fact that you can do that I guess the idea being that you might want to use your you know your right hand output to give to a sound man with cab sim on it and your left hand output to plug into a guitar cabinet to, with without um, a cab sim on it it just kind of demonstrates that these guys have really tried to think at quite a professional grade mm. level despite yeah. the fact that the price is likely to um, appeal to more of a novice player it's definitely got pro features yeah and like from different brands of like all the best little ideas in one little unit it's cool i'm very impressed i'm very impressed digital john i feel like you know we can just play out with oh look i just want to hear i just want to hear some more of these brilliantly named presets and then we'll just <laughs> oh, you know, know i'll find song. my favorite one <laughs> and then um and then maybe we'll have some more drums and, and we'll just noodle out but look links are below 250 quid what a bargain mm. um well, job done thank you so much digital john for thank coming you. in today and um oh, this is by the way is a new chapman guitar chapman and john me. likes chapman guitars so i do i that's do that's why we're playing it ml2 pro yeah let's go play some steve vi please <clears throat> assuming oh, that's I don't, got patches. No, hardly any vi <laughs> Someone name a Vi track. Vi? For the love of God, yeah. I'm trying to think. How does for, love, for the love of God? Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 uh, do, do. Got on it. It's, just, it's all pentatonic. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Bend to that. From the. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. Ah, f That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, vintage overdrive. Oh, nope, nope. Nice neo solo. Ed Story. Any ideas what that's based on? It's uh, it's uh, Ed Balls' his autobiography at <laughs> this time as Deputy Prime Minister back right. in the uh, early noughties. I'm trying to channel think, Ed yes. Balls. <laughs> and his epic uh, adventure on Strictly Come Dancing. It doesn't sound like the Ed we all thought it would be. Cat, cat. Cat, cat. Is that a wah? Oh, it could be. Yeah. Let's try it. Uh, we didn't really do the wah thing, did we? Oh, look, you know what? That'll do. Mr. Brown, we're going to end on that um, catchy... Uh, Mr. Brown. <laughs> oh, please let my microphone pick that up. <laughs> right, that's it. We'll see you later. This is John.